Thank you for tuning in to WDRB, the voice of the community, and those streaming live through free TuneIn Radio app. You're listening to Sit Amongst the Stars, and I'm your host, Star. Thank you for hanging out with me every Monday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's connect on Instagram at sit underscore amongst underscore the underscore stars. And that's S-T-A-R-R-S, by the way. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sit Amongst the Stars Radio Show. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're just tuning in, we're discussing life's pressure. Life's pressure is caused by events or expectations about the event. In life, we have many challenges, obstacles, demands on our life. Parents oftentimes feel a lot of pressure. They have their children, the school system, an expectation from others on how to raise their children properly. One of the famous sayings everyone used to use when speaking on the topic of parenting is, well, there's no manual to being a parent, but technically there are many books, blogs, articles, (laughs) hey, TikTok, hey, even YouTube videos outlining what it takes to be an effective hands-on parent. So with those pressures, um, you have your children even saying, well, when I become a parent or being so outspoken now telling you what they desire or telling you what um, they would like to do or critiquing um, different things that they would like, you know, that you have done, um, places they want to go, um, the school system, you know, having um, suggestions or telling you what to do and see, you know, with the pandemic, um, a lot of, you know, our children, they went online and some went back when it was time to go back and others stayed online. Um, but the ones that stayed online for a while and then went back, they're having a hard time adjusting to being back in school. And so for the parents, it's hard getting texts or calls saying I'm ready to come home or, you know, trying to get kids up in the morning to get ready for school um, or, you know, them having days where I don't feel like going to school. Pressure as a parent because, hey, sometimes we don't feel like going to work, right? (laughs) We have to go. But, hey, if we have enough sit time, we might not go. So it's the balancing of everything because, if you understand, sometimes you need a break, um, and and a break that has no excuse. <laughs> sometimes our children may need those breaks as well. The pressure, gotta make decisions. The pressure of making those deci- decisions. Wives and husbands, there are many couple goals out here circling around that put an expectation on what it should look like to be a happy couple. Some wives um, haven't had any children yet. They haven't had a successful pregnancy. And other people, family members, co-workers, friends, pressuring you to figure out how to create a family what if you want to just travel what if you're focused on your create your career as a couple what if you're focused on maybe you just want to adopt later on so many options out here but the pressure to make a decision is always around Who knew that the world would become a front row seat of observation to regular people who have become famous because complete strangers value their marriage or relationship due to what they post online on social media. See, I remember a time when 
If you didn't live in the house, you would never know what exactly goes on behind closed doors. And even then, you still may not know completely. Pressure. Life's pressure. Couples used to live a more private life. But now they're experiencing these pressures. Children, they have an expectation to get good grades, behave well, try to fit in society that tells them what to eat, wear, talk, etc. You know, I remember when um, children start watching YouTube a lot and they were watching people do activities with their family. They were watching people play do pranks or they were watching families go on vacation and even now they're watching people eat they're watching people play video games people think um because the children have so many options out there now that they have more benefits than generations before do people ever realize the pressure they feel daily to overperform? Even from a simple TikTok video to dance, like it's a whole situation for them. Nothing is basic anymore. The world is loud and busy, and they have to find their way in the midst of the constant chaos. The pressure, life's pressure. Singles feel pressure to get married join some type of group, or have a busy social life? Who made society the judge to what being single should look like? The perfect time to learn yourself, your desires, your heart, your mind, discover purpose, and establish boundaries is great when you're single. Being single is actually an enjoyable time. Taking a moment to laser focus on what makes yourself happy is enough to smile about but life is life and pressure is applied i want to leave you with some scripture because we know that there are life pressures all all, all around just as we have been discussing and pointing out some things that causes uh, life life pressure on us but the bible says to be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to god and the peace of god which suppress, surpasses all understanding would guard your heart and minds through christ jesus don't allow life's pressure to make you so anxious and because we know god is our father Continue to strengthen your prayer life. Continue to allow yourself to rest in him because he'll give you the peace. Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, first verse says, To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under the heaven. When you realize what your purposes are is when you kind of figure out what season you're in it helps proverbs the 12th chapter 25th verse it says anxiety in the heart of a man causes depression but a good word makes it glad a kind word a word of encouragement can lift someone's spirit and cheer them up so keep that in mind when you're feeling your life's pressure, other people are feeling pressure as well. When you see a college student, hey, ask them how they're doing. Give them a high five. Tell them you're proud of them. Gift them with something. They always need something. They're trying to figure out life. Give them some words of wisdom. Help. Because people have pressure all around Matthew the 6th chapter the 25th through the 27th verse says 
Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body. What you will put on is not life more than food and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? Let that be the last um, scripture um, that I read for you today. But keep this in mind that God the Father will supply all your needs. Like If there's something that you need, he got you. If there's something that's troubling you or bothering you, he got you. He knows what you need. You can talk to God about anything. Talk to him. Lean into him. Because he will help you with these life pressures. Please join me next week. I appreciate each of you for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out with me every Monday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you'd like to be a guest or to contact me, please email me at sitamongstthestars at gmail.com. You've been listening to Sit Amongst the Stars, and I'm your host, Star, on WDRB Media, the voice of the community, for double the information and inspiration. Until next week, continue to be blessed. Hey, you're in great hands with Star. Have a seat.